Hi, I'm Emily. I'm Tom. Welcome back to our channel. If you watched our last and uh, our first video, we were in cold, rainy, wet Wales. That was April, now it's July. When I came over to the UK in December, I was only planning to stay two weeks, but the lockdown happened and we ended up staying for the maximum of my visa. So we had to get out of the country before Emily's visa expired and before other countries wouldn't let us in. We decided that we would try and do a budget trip to Mediterranean Europe because that's, for me, the bit that I love most and the bit that you haven't really been to. No, I have not seen much of Europe at all. And because we were so close, I thought, why not? On the 25th of June, I got on a plane and ended up in Barcelona, Spain. On the Monday morning, on the 28th of June, I got on a flight to Malaga. And so did you, from yeah. Barcelona. We enjoyed a beautiful two nights there eating tapas, eating like some seafood, some Watching paella. the Euro World Cup because it was everywhere. But we went in Europe to stay in hotels. Mm. On Wednesday morning, we packed up our bags. We took two buses, walked for 30 minutes in extreme heat. Yeah, it was really tough. We had booked three nights at a campsite called La Bella Vista. We stayed at this place five nights in the end. There were some great things about that experience. It was on a beautiful beach. It was really fun cooking with a camping stove. We love our tent, but so much of it was, I found so hot. <laughs> he found particularly hot. <laughs> I spent most of the time getting burnt to a crisp, suffering heat stroke. At points I found it really hot. I think I could weather the weather better. It was really hard to sleep on the gravel ground. We'll look at it, some of those lessons learned a bit more in our next episode. We stayed there until the Monday morning. At 6 a.m. we packed our bags. We packed down the tent. It was a lot cooler at that time. The sun had not risen yet. So we did that 30 minute walk again with our bags. We caught our first bus and then we caught our second bus. Then we ended up in... Malaga. Malaga. Oh. We got McDonald's. Classic. And we got on bus three. And then we had just about missed bus four, but we managed to chase this bus down in a taxi and got on bus four and there was only one of those buses a day to the tiny village in the mountains called Melahis. We got up this morning, it's a pretty quiet day in the village. The weather's not too hot. We're just in one of the beautiful little alleys. It's beautiful. We'll show you around. Hopefully you love it as much as we do. So centered in the middle of the village is this beautiful washing well where women used to come and bring their clothes and wash them together and they used to sit and gossip about the happenings of the town. Everyone here just expects you to speak regional Spanish, but every time they talk to me, I have no idea what they're saying and I just yeah. repeat everything back to them. I really don't them. understand what they're saying. One of the special things about this village is that it has this amazing view. It's in this beautiful valley. Valle. Lecrin. <laughs> so we're in this fairly remote village in the mountains of Spain. And yes, we spent five days camping and that <laughs> had been really hot, hard. But no matter like where we had been before, this house would probably have blown us away. So why don't you take a look? Welcome to Jasa Manas. Come on in. Don't forget to sanitize your hands. Within the first room, you find the first bedroom of four. They have the same wall as outside. Then we have the first bathroom. Cheers. Here, you have the second bedroom of the house. The bigger bathroom. 
the house tour. We dumped everything into our second bedroom. Way too messy to show you. This is our most favorite room of the house. On really hot afternoons, we love to come in here and read and have a lie down and a rest. Our siesta room. Tom has spent the past week working at this table. It is so beautiful. I can imagine in winter it would be so warm and snuggly up here. Arguably, the best view of the house is from this exact position because if you look out to the windows, you get the most amazing view of the valley. Now we're going to go downstairs and check out the garden. Behind these metal chains is actually the most beautiful garden. We've got a little cat here called Mass. Say hi. Good girl. Just one of the many, many lemon trees on this property. Now, the garden just doesn't end. There's minnows. We've actually got a pomegranate tree and an olive tree. And yes, Tom and I have played in this cubby house that actually goes up three stories high. There's even a fountain here that we haven't used. And that's our house tour. <laughs> you said jump right out. <laughs> One thing that we really wanted to achieve during our time in Melahees is that we wanted to live like locals. In the town tour that you would have seen, it actually got cut short because the Grand Catholic Church was starting their mass in the morning. So we attended church and it was actually the first time that we got to see a lot of the community who had gathered for this young girl's first communion. We walked everywhere. We actually had to walk to the next town of Restabal, which was about 20 minutes walk away to go to the best small local shop to pick up our ingredients every night for dinner. In order to get bread every morning, a lady would show up and she'd start beeping. I think she was giving us a good tourist price if you know what we mean. The thing that we really wanted to do while we were here is that we wanted to cook authentic Spanish food using local ingredients and whatever we could find around town and in the back garden. We wanted to make lemonade. Success! Success! <laughs> Next thing we tried to make was orange juice. What are you doing there? I'm just... Making some orange juice. Um, we've made like 400 meals. I think we've had to sacrifice like eight oranges or something. Today we have made... Your... Friends of each other. <laughs> okay, we've made orange juice. Oh, yeah. does mine have worms in it? No, no, that's actually just part of the flesh or something. Okay, you promise? Yes. I mean, I can't tell you that, but I'm pretty certain they're just parts of the flesh. That's oh. like wriggling around. It is wriggling around, yeah. Oh, maybe we shouldn't drink this. <laughs> uh, that there is a little worm. There he's going over there. You can see the little guy wriggling about there. We didn't try that again, but what we really wanted to do was cook some genuine Spanish food. Tonight we are going to be attempting a very, very famous Spanish dish called paella. 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 Uh, it's a rice dish, uh, usually cooked in quite a big, round, shallow pot. Kind oh, of it's example. sticky. Really gross. And this is what it looks like. The foods and wines of Spain. Paella is a word that has come worldwide to mean a Spanish rice dish with a variety of seafood and usually some chicken. However, the word originally referred only to the pan. <gasps> that doesn't give you much to go on, does it really? Here are some tips on how to make the perfect paella. Number one. Use only short grain rice. Number two. Cook in a shallow pan and leave the rice uncovered. Paella pans are best, <laughs> are the best. <laughs> Three. The broth is extremely important to the flavor of the final dish. Cuatro. Normal stove burners are not big enough to accommodate a paella pan, so you need a paella burner or you can use two stoves. Cinco. Never wait until the rice tastes done before taking it off the heat. Oh. The rice must cook partly away from the heat after it's taken off the heat. 
Manos is just on the table over there. Says. Most rice dishes can be prepared partially in advance. However, final cooking must be done at the last minute while we have not in advance. <laughs> okay, and last but not least. Siete. Saffron, the most expensive spice in the world, which goes at about $2,000 a pound, whatever it is. But that was in 2002. You don't need very much, but if you're going to use it, you've got to use the real thing. Seven tips to make paella, which so we we'll... can't follow. No. Yeah. We're going to have our homemade chicken broth. I think we're going to stick to chicken and maybe some seafood that we can find in the local shop. Chorizo. I think we're going to do a mix between a traditional Valencia, the more seafood, Valenciana, and a rice and chicken dish. And if I can blend the recipes a little bit, I think that'll turn out really nice. Cool. Let's go shopping. See you guys later. That's short thing. Pre-prepared chicken stuff. Wow. <laughs> that is <laughs> And this is wine that costs one fifth. Vino blanco, <laughs> azafran, casero de pollo, gamba, arroz, especial paella, tomates, pimientos, un cebolla, cebolla pequeña, ajo, chorizo, pechuga de pollo. Finito. Paella, bueno. Should we go for here? It's yeah. It's a dramatic spot. <laughs> it's very dramatic. Oh, but the, the, the fire is on. It's working. I just had to push that thing down. Whew. Amazing. Thanks very much for the help. Nice. Alright, so step one, we start a hot broth going. And then I'm going to add in a whole onion and half a teaspoon of saffron. Well, I get the chicken and chorizo cooking. Super hot sauce. Salud. Salud. Okay, first big mouthful. I'm gonna get one with like a little prawn in it. Mmm. It's so good. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it turned out to be. That was a chicken. That is surprisingly good. <laughs> I think this is one of the best meals we've ever cooked. The whole Sick. process, I do remember. Maybe a 10 out of 10. I don't know, it was fun. We have loved our time here in Spain. Tomorrow we actually leave for one night in Madrid and then the next day we're actually going to go to Italy. And the next video we're hoping is going to be about camping. Tell you everything we've learned and show you a bit about what camping in Italy is like. If you want to make sure you don't miss that video, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. See, See you next. next. Told me to do that.
on, it's working. <laughs> Amazing. 